Hey there everyone, welcome back to Dresden Files Review, where we review every single word in the Dresden Files story. Now, today we're on page 278 on the fourth word, the fourth word being ma. In my opinion, this is not a very good word. I think I'm gonna have to be honest with you and drop the act. This isn't really a word by word Dresden Review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing A Small Favor by Jim Butcher. Now, contrary to the last book, this is not as bad. This is actually quite good. I, I had quite a good time reading this, even though it's in pristine condition because I read it pretty quickly. So if you watched my last Dresden Files review, you'll know that I had a problem with the last story. Difference between the beginning story and the final story, which felt like it had too much complicated connective tissue in order for us to understand why they're fighting the final battle in the final place. So with that gone, I had a lot more uh, fun with this because this had the exact opposite thing. This is actually quite good connecting the beginning to the end because I'll be honest, the story of the Denarians really, really works within this field. This is an amazing story to put in because it's a simple story. We need to stop them from getting all of the coins. And then they also want to get all the coins and rule the world. Oh, what a simple story. How about we just do that? And they do that. The whole story is dedicated to that. And it, it just brings for one cohesive story. Now I have to be honest, everything involving Marcone right over my head. I didn't understand a single word of that. I have no idea what happened to him. I have no idea where he is. I kind of understand. I, 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 it's not as very clear as I would have hoped it to be. But you know, I'm sure most people who enjoyed Dresden to this point, if they're interested in that, they would have read closely enough to understand it. To be frank, all the problems I had with the story are very, very minor. I think that certain parts with a certain character, a very young character, if you know what I mean, they're very boring. They're a little bit played out. And I didn't have too much fun with her. On the other hand, I had a lot of problems with the specific character of Michael and, and the sort of certain subplot that opens up at the end of the story. Now, that was good at that point, but the build up to it was, felt very quiet, felt too quiet, felt like there was almost nothing, even though I'm sure that there was, making this a very surprising plot to enter into near the end of the story. And so when we have something like that, where, where the story ends up being a very good story and there's almost no build up to it, it takes away from a little bit of the intrigue of the final story. So there's very little problems with these things, but I think the main problem I'm having is that it wasn't really that engaging of a plot. There was this whole fight going on, but the reason for the fight was very complicated. And we also have a lot of very Dresden, uh, Mary Sue moments in this story. I had a lot of fun with the story. I really think I did. But once we went to a certain setting, starting with an A and then the second letter being Q, we started having a couple problems here and there. I felt that the fight scenes were a bit showy and a little bit lacked plot to be as engaging as I would have liked them to be. And so we had this kind of miniature problem going throughout the whole story, which is that it's a good story, it was fun, uh, then the action took away from it. Oh, or maybe the action was pretty good, and then the actual dialogue took away from it, or something else took away from it, which ended up making it a generally good story. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't have the same problems as so many other Dresden Files books have, which is that it often feels like it's meandering or pointless. This one felt like it had a point. The end of the story is much different from the beginning of the story. There's a lot of specific plot lines within the Denarian plot line that have changed distinctly. And things like that make me excited to read the next book. And so I'm gonna read the next book soon. But either way, there's a lot of good and a lot of bad with the story. And this really ends up being what I think of as the slightly good, but generally average Dresden Files book. I could go on and on about the problem, but the one thing that I did want to mention was the Mary Sue uh, character of Dresden at this point. There's so many points within this story specifically that I find Dresden's thought process to be insane, to be too insane, to be really oddly weird and very specific in a train of logic until he hits a conclusion. And then he is so sure of that conclusion that he ends up doing extreme things because he assumes that conclusion is correct and the conclusion ends up being correct. And this is a small problem that you see throughout the entirety of Dresden Files. Like, you know, these are not supposed to be these uh, simple characters that we see in other books. This character in specific, you know, he's huge. They're all huge. There's no character that's under six foot five in the story. So we all have these crazy, unbelievable characters. And Jim Butcher seems to do the same thing to their mental fortitude and he allows them to be super powerful mentally and also correct and bend the world of reality to actually conform with their reality and, and, and figure out what exactly is the exact one possible theory of what might happen because of a couple actions here and there. And I think the, the reason I'm talking about this is kind of obvious, right? There's a very specific scene there where Dresden breaks out in a fight in a situation where you wouldn't exactly expect to fight. 
for this exact reason. Because even though you follow the train of logic, it's not a dumb logic, but there's a certain amount of certainty that you need in order to do what he did. And I don't think that he has that certainty. And just seeing that so often within the story, just constantly within the story, it makes it feel like it is too much of a Mary Sue. But here we have an author clearly indicating what is the correct answer based on what he wants Dresden to do. And when you see an author play with the world as clearly as that, it becomes a little bit troublesome. But that's just one very specific small problem I had with the story. Once you zoom into that problem, you can see that this is the type of problem that exists a lot within all of the stories, but especially this one. And so it troubles me to not put it too low, not too high. I'm going to put it right in the middle, somewhere between a two and a three. I think because I'm already starting to forget what happened within the story, I'm going to give it a two, which puts it at the average of Justin Files level. It is an average book, and the average book is pretty good, but it's, it's average, so two it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.